show. It's all about deep space. Oh, so exciting. Well, I mean, not the deepest of spaces. I guess it's actually about, uh, like, somewhat deep space. Like, three feet deep space? We're going just to the moon, everyone. Which is still a big accomplishment. I mean, have you been to the moon? Who knows? We might actually have someone listening right now who ends up being a lunar astronaut. When you arrive there, though, what if you could make a brand new moon? Give your paws a little exercise now, everyone, for Saraya! Hello, Saraya. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm better now that you are here. What, do you, what, what about that name? I mean, I know you come from New Mexico, but could we rename your state New moon just because of today's show? Sure. Great. Excellent. Wow, that was easy. I thought I'd at least have to go to Albuquerque and talk to someone in the, in the government there. Okay, cool. Well, Soraya, I'm so happy that you're here. Uh, this is your chance to brainstorm a brand new moon that hopefully will be uh, in uh, effect soon because tomorrow we'll see the first crescent of the new moon. What moon do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking since Valentine's Day, it will be a white chocolate dip uh, strawberry. Oh, that's so beautiful. Okay, so a, a, a giant moon-shaped or moon-sized strawberry, excuse me, dipped in white chocolate. And why white chocolate? Yeah. Why not Why not a regular uh, like milk chocolate? Why do you want to go white chocolate? Well, first, um, you dip the strawberry in chocolate, and then you dip it in white chocolate. So it's oh, two chocolate. a double dip. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> um, and I guess that white chocolate will make it more reflective at nighttime, so it more closely resembles our current moon. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. Yeah, good idea. Excellent. Okay, um, and what about like when uh, astronauts go to the moon? You know, there are some space uh, flights now where just regular people can pay a bunch of money and buy a ticket on a spaceship and go out in space. Like, someday tourists are just going to go to the moon. When you go to the moon, can you just take a little bit of chocolate and eat it while you're up there? Well, what you have to do is you have to buy either uh, two pairs of astronaut ice cream, like ski size. Uh -huh. Or like a snowboard giant astronaut ice cream, and then like you can ski and snowboard on it. Oh, cool! Wow! So it it changes the moon from. I mean, I gotta be honest. When, when I see like old movies of astronauts on the moon, like it's cool. You know, like they're on the moon, they're driving around in their moon car. But after they kind of walk around for a bit. You know, it just kind of seems like, well, now you're just, like, walking around on the moon. Like, isn't there something more exciting? I never thought there could be recreational opportunities. So you could go skiing or snowboarding on the moon? Yeah, and then also you can eat your board after. Oh, wow. Ooh, bonus. Could you make a snowman out of uh, all that white chocolate that's up there, too? Yeah, because it'll be, like, room temperature. Oh, wow, exciting. Or moon temperature, I guess. Could you have a white chocolate snowball fight while you're up there? Yeah. I really love where this is going. Okay, um, what if you're not a chocolate fan? I, hard to believe, but I know some of our listeners are just not into chocolate. Uh, not everyone loves chocolate. Is there an alternative for people who can't eat chocolate or don't like chocolate? Well, on the other half of the moon, it's not chocolate. It's what it's like a candy bar, so like you can have a candy war on that side. Oh, on the dark side of the moon. I always wonder what's on the dark side of the moon. I didn't realize it was dark chocolate. This is exciting. Well, audience, give it up for Soraya, straight out of New Moonsico. Oh, I almost forgot what we named your state. All right.